Today I will tell you about the story, the lion and the mouse. Everybody, my name is Mia. Today I want to tell you a story about the three little piggies. Today I am going to tell you guys a story about the ant and the bird. Hello, this is the wolf, the shepherd and the buffalo. Those characters are in my story. I'm going to tell you today the story named The Big Bad Wolf and the Intelligent Shepherd. Do you have a best friend? Everyone knows that friends are people who share a lot of things in common. But a good friend with real small vision that have been the same interest. They are always willing to be by our side and find ways to help us when never we have trouble in life. And today I will tell you a story about the friendship. The story name The Sand and the Storm. Once upon a time, there lived a lion who ruled the forest. One day, after eating his meal, the lion fell asleep under a tree. Little Mouse saw him and thought it would be fun to play on him. And he began running up and down the sleeping line. Oh. <laughs> the lion woke up angrily loud. Roar! He grabbed the mouse with his huge paw. The mouse was very scared. <laughs> okay, I'm very scared. Please don't eat me. Forgive me this time. Please let me go. I shall never forget it. Maybe one day I can help you. The lion was so amused by the idea of the mouse being able to help him. <coughs> he left on his paw and let him go. Thank you, King. I'll never forget your kindness. You are lucky, my friend. But I just eat him. Now go, but don't mess me again, or I will make a meal of you. A few days passed, the lion was roaming the jungle. <laughs> Hunter set a trap to catch the lion. As he did, the hunters pulled the rope and caught him in the net. Lions start to roar loudly and try to escape. All the animals, including the mouse, heard the roar. The king is in trouble and must turn the flavor. He soon reached the lion. Don't worry, my king. I'll set you free. He ran up the trap and used his Shark let his teeth to bite through the ropes. Finally, 
Finally, he freed the lion from the trap. Lion realized that even a little mouse can be a great help. Thank you, mouse. I will never trouble you again. Live happily in my forest. You saved the king's life. Now you are the prince of this forest. Thank you, King. Bye. See you soon. Where are you going? Don't you want to play on me and slide down my tail? The little mouse starts running up and down his back and sliding down his tail. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> Lion and mouse became friends forever. Now let me tell you about the moral of the story. Even the smallest can help the strongest. And kindness is never wasted. Thank you for listening. The three little bees. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had got three little piggies. And she didn't have enough food to feed them. So when they grew old enough, she set them out to find their luck. The first little piggy was very lazy, so he built the house out of straw. The second piggy worked a little harder, but he was lazy too, so he built the house out of sticks. The third piggy worked hard all day, so he built the house out of brick. It was a very beautiful house. It got a fireplace and a chimney. It looks like it can hold against the strongest weight. The next day, a wolf happens to pass by the house of the in the little pig. He saw straw house and he never pig with that. He thought the pig would be a delicious dinner for him and his mouth began to lie on so he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf, big, hard, and easy. No, 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 not on my mother's name. Oink, oink. The wolf showed his teeth. <coughs> then I will hop, and I will pop, and I will blow your head. So he puffed and he puffed and he blew the house away. The wolf opened his mouth and bit as hard as he can. But the first little piggy escaped. He ran to the second piggy. The wolf blew on to the house made of sticks. He saw the house and smelled the pigs inside. After he thought about the delicious dinner they would miss, and his mouth began to run. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's black eyes at him. No, 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 not on our mother's name. Oink, oink. The wolf showed his teeth. Ah, then I will hop. And I will pop, and I will blow your ass away. So he hopped and he hopped and he blew the house away. The wolf was greedy, and he wanted to get both at once, but he was too greedy, so he got none of them. The wolf gave them, and he almost got them. But the two little pigs made it to the first house and closed the door after the door. Before the wolf comes in, mm -hmm. the three little pigs were too scared to hear, and they knew that the wolf wanted to eat them. And that was very, very good. The wolf didn't eat all day, and he was very hungry. And now you can smell all three of the pigs inside. 
and he knew that all three of the kids would be a lovely dinner for him. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf sharp teeth and answered, No, 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 not on our mother's name. Oink, oink. So the wolf showed his teeth. Ah! Then I will hop, and I will hop, and I will fly out the way. Mm. So he hopped and he hopped and he so he hopped and 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 he hopped, hop 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 but he didn't blow the hop away. At last, he couldn't hop. And he couldn't hunt anymore. So he stopped to rest and talk. But this is enough! The wolf was very angry. <laughs> and he swayed or climbed up the chimney and jumped down to keep the three little piggies. When the wolf was climbing up, the three little piggies made a big, big, big fire and a pot of water, a big pot of water. So they can make a hot, hot, boiling water. <coughs> the wolf jumped down the chimney and fell into the hot, hot of water. And he stopped. Ah! Help me! Help me! So hot! The three little piggies, the three little piggies put a top on the cook the wolf and the wolf took the dinner. This story was to tell the end. This story was to tell us two very good lessons. The first lesson, we didn't really like the like the true little inside. Hard by the truck left. Hard by the The second lesson is, we shouldn't be greedy. And if we be too greedy, it will get back for us nothing. Thank you for listening! Hope you enjoyed! On a hot summer day, a little ant went down to the river for some water. As the little ant walked to the tip of the leaf to get a drink of water, a sudden gust of wind blew him into the river. Help! Help! Someone please help! Nearby, a resting bird in a tree heard the ant screaming for help and went to see what was going on. Oh no, little ant, I am going to throw you a leaf. Get on top of it, okay? Thanks to the leaf, the ant was safe and he was able to make it back onto the land again. Phew, I'm safe. Thank you so much. I will never forget what you did for me. When the little ant looked up to look at the bird, he saw a hunter arming his bow, an arrow at his new bird friend. It's a hunter! Friend, watch out! It's a hunter! Fly away, friend! Fly away! Even the ants cried, the bird still had no clue what was going on. The ant didn't know what to do except fight the hunter food. Ouch! The hunter threw down his bow and arrow and hopped in pain. Ouch! Ouch! The screaming starlet the bird. He stopped. He saw a hunter and quickly flew away. Thank you, Ant. You saved my life. And you saved mine. Thank you so much. Moral, if we do good, good will come to you. Thank you for watching. Once upon a time, when animal still had the ability to speak, a huge buffalo was living on the shepherd's farm. The buffalo was helping the shepherd in the field work, and the shepherd was doing his best to make the buffalo happy. One day, the shepherd was taking the buffalo to graze. At that moment, a hungry cunning wolf sneaked up and followed them. Mmm, that buffalo would be a great lunch for me! <laughs> I 
need to get rid of that human. The wolf suddenly appeared before the blue and the shepherd. Ow! I have a few questions for you. If you can answer, the buffalo is mine. The shepherd and the buffalo was very curious about what the cunning wolf could ask. Why does a buffalo serve a human when he has such powerful horns? Huh? Well, because I plow the shepherd's field and he feeds me the best food. Hmm, how can a shepherd make this huge buffalo serve him? Is that a magic cane in your hand? No, it's not the cane that's magical, it's a wisdom. The wolf did not understand what the shepherd meant. Your wisdom? What is it? That's not an answer. Now we can take this buffalo home if I want. But I'm very curious about this thing called wisdom. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. What's that condition? Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie this tree so that my buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. The wolf was very curious about the thing that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back the wisdom, the buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. After a while, the shepherd came out with a big box on his hand. Well, Wisdom, where is it? Did you bring it? It's inside, right there at the corner. If you don't see it, let me untie you so that you can take a closer look. As soon as the wolf got into the box to see the Wisdom, the shepherd closed the lid on him. Help! Help! Wisdom is too precious to fit in a box, dear wolf. Wisdom is in a mine, and you can only find it by searching for it like hidden treasure. I promise I will never underestimate the minds of other again. Now I will be more generous and smarter. Please, get me out of here. The wolf remained in the box for a whole day. The next morning, the shepherd and the buffalo saw the wolf learn a good lesson and took him out of the box. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For that day on, the wolf went along better with other animals and respected everyone's mind, from flying birds to tiny insects. That is the end of my story. Once upon a time, there were two best friends, John and James. They fought for many reasons, but never gave up their friendship. They went in search of a job and visited many places to earn some money. They passed through various places, village, towns, forests, and beaches. They supported each other throughout their journey. One day, the travels took them across a harsh desert. James, we have limited food and water, and we have a lot of desert left to cross. We should save them for later use. But I am very thirsty. I want to drink water. You can have water, but just a little bit. We have to save it for the rest of the desert crossing. I don't care. I am sure we will find an oasis ahead somewhere. We can be sure about it. The two friends were wrestling each other for the water bottle. In the heat of the moment, John slapped James. Stunned by that, both friends stopped fighting and decided to keep walking on. Before moving on, James bent down and wrote on the sand. 
My best friend slapped me today. After the war, they came upon an oasis and were very happy. They refilled their bottles and took a bath in the water. However, James became careless and started to do down. John grabbed him and pulled him out of the water to safety. Thank you, my friend. I owe you my life. Don't worry about it. Let's rest for some time, and then we will resume our journey. Two friends took a little nap. When they woke up and were ready to leave, James carved something on a big stone. It was, my best friend saved my life. What are you writing, James? When you slapped me, I wrote on the sand that you slapped me. The wind would have to blow me away by now. But when you saved my life, I wrote on the stone so that nothing can erase it. Both friends became overwhelmed and hung each other. James chose to remember the good things about their friendship and forgot the bad ones. And we should do it in relationships too. This is all of my story. Thank you for listening and watching to me.